For WLCSports.com, I'm Matt Friedman. We're here with the Cross Country 2013 preview, and joining me is the Cross Country head coach in his 21st season, Steve Travis. Good to have you back. Thanks so much. Yeah, great to be here. Now, as we uh, start with this preview, let's talk about the women's team first. Last season at the NAC Championships, they had four of the top 11 finishers. They had a second place finish. Do you expect the success to continue this year? Uh, this year, we're, we took a little bit of a hit as far as uh, returning athletes. Uh, always hard to say what other teams are going to have in bringing in, but uh, Julie Favorite is, is back and running strong. She had a great uh, summer of training and really looking forward to seeing some success out of her this fall. She was the runner-up uh, in the NAC Championships last year. Do you expect her to once again be among the best runners in the conference? Most definitely, yes. I definitely see her up front. Um, Again, we'll kind of wait to see what the other schools are bringing back and, and who might have some top runners as newcomers, but most definitely she will be at the forefront. And so far you've had a couple of weeks of training now. Which of the younger women's runners have stood out and do you think might be primed for a breakout season? Sure. Uh, Jessica Stumpner is a freshman for us this fall and her this past two weeks workouts have been going well. Um, she's a little bit more of a mid-distance runner in the track and field end of things, but I'm excited to see what she can do at the 6K uh, women's distance this fall. Let's transition now into the men's team. Uh, the men had a good performance at NAC Championships last season as well. They have three all-NAC performers. All of them are returning. They had a fifth place finish at the NAC, champ NAC Championships. So do you expect that after last year's strong finish, having those runners back, that they're going to make a leap this year? Yes, I, I really think the men are, are primed for a nice jump forward this fall, as you've mentioned. Um, the, the strength of returners, um, and as well as bringing in Jacob Jodat as a freshman this fall, um, I do expect some big things of the guys this, this season. And Jacob Jodat is one of two freshmen on the team, so uh, do you expect big contributions from both of those young runners? Um, Jacob especially, yes. Um, looking forward to, to what he brings to the table. He, he ran quite well last fall um, at the state, the state meet, and um, the transition will be there for both of them adjusting to the 8K, but uh, I'm, I'm very looking very uh, forward to what Jacob will be able to do in contributing. Now, uh, we know that you usually have the men's and women's teams training together. What does that preseason training consist of? Um, yeah, we've, we've put in a couple long runs in the past two weeks, as well as then the primary focus, I guess, on quality would be hill workouts, that we've gotten in a few hill workouts in preparation for um, hosting conference this fall, so we've been at Greenfield Park uh, running the hills there, and it's been going quite well. Now you're uh, starting to get ready to go into your schedule. First of all, let's talk about the home invite this season, the WLC Warrior Invitational coming up on October 5th, the biggest home invite you've ever had. Yes, it's, it's looking to be, uh, be great. Uh, the, the men's numbers are looking around 25 teams, the women are approaching 30 teams, and we also start off the morning with some grade school races and looks to be 15 to 20 grade school teams will be joining us that morning as well. Wow. So it'll be tons of athletes, a lot of fun. That will be exciting coming up on October 5th. Uh, but before that, you have a meet coming up on Saturday to get the season started, the Tom Berry Invitational Meet in Green Bay. What are you looking for out of that first meet? I always look forward to going up to Green Bay. Um, that's been our traditional start to the season for many years now. The men race a four-mile race, so a good transition for them coming off the summer training to have to uh, race at the four-mile mark, uh, looking to try to run that as some negative splits. Um, on the women's side, it's a 5K race, so again, a little bit shorter than the championship distance for them being a 6K, but the 5K is a nice stepping stone for them. Um, and there too, looking to try to go negative with their splits, running it a little bit more of a workout style. Um, and it looks to be a great day tomorrow. Good luck, Coach, and uh, we'll catch up with you th for the rest of the season. Thanks so much.